Ah, what's good, YouTube? Y'all all know it's your boys. Them boys crazy. Y'all all know it's boy Royal to rob up in this month, man. I already know what's going on, man. I know it's boy Cam Official. Anytime you see our face, you know it's time for another reaction. Now, let's do it on. This is why I heard that uh, Hakeem Olajuwon, you know what I'm saying, is way better than you think. I ain't going to need no lie. I, 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 I how can I put it? I feel like he get he get his praise, but I feel like it's just certain people don't get as much praise as they should. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I don't know. It's probably cause like, I don't know. I don't know. But we finna see what this and uh, we finna see what this right here like. You know what I'm saying? Say it way better than what we think. So, show me something. You know? Let me see something. <laughs> From the top. Barely been dominated by its biggest players. And while there have been has primarily been dominated by its biggest players. And while there have been some very few exceptions along the way, primarily the power players patrolling the front court have been the league's greatest players. The first dynastic team rose to prominence in 19 as the first dynastic team rose to prominence in 1950 when the Minneapolis Lakers led by center George Mikan won five championships in a six-year span then in 1957 the greatest dynasty in basketball history began with center Bill Russell leading the Boston Celtics to 11 championships over the next 13 seasons while battling his arch nemesis center Wilt Chamberlain along the way. The two would combine for nine Wilt league still. MVPs in an 11 year span. And Not just as Russell retired in 1969, Later that year, the Milwaukee Bucks would draft the NBA's next great big out of UCLA with the first overall pick in the draft, center Ferdinand Lewis Alcindor Jr., who would go on to be known as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar while winning six league MVPs, the most in NBA history, and going to 10 NBA Finals, winning six championships. Then, of course, the 90s ushered in the golden era of the big man, with Shaquille O'Neal, yes, Aaron Robinson, yes, and Patrick Ewing all rising to prominence in the late 80s through mid-90s. But what if I were to tell you that there was one guy right in the middle of it all that was arguably better than them all, even if he was only a dream? In the famed 1984 draft that produced the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan, the NBA's all-time leader in assists and steals in John Stockton, as well as 11-time All-Star and 10-time All-NBA member Charles Barkley, it would be Hakeem Olajuwon, who was drafted number one overall. And that draft was crazy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Yeah. It would be Hakeem Olajuwon, who was drafted number one overall. And while Hakeem is certainly mm -hmm. not the most decorated or statistically accomplished big in NBA history, when understanding the context of his career, the competition he faced, and the supporting cast he had around him, coupled with Olajuwon's own production, you can make a viable case that he's the best big in NBA history. And ultimately, how does one quantify or define the best? Clearly, Hakeem is not the most accomplished, as Kareem won six finals and six league MVPs. But taking a closer look at those NBA finals, Kareem won one title in Milwaukee with Oscar Robertson, and then five titles in LA with Magic Johnson. Bill Russell played with four of the top 50 players of all time in I saw y'all talking about Bill was an argument with that uh, 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 Larry Bird. Larry Bird ain't play with that, I'm just saying. 
just saying. Including the great Bob Cousy, while Shaq Bob won Cousy. three of his championships with the legendary Kobe Bryant and his fourth ring with another top five all-time positional guard, Dwayne Wade. Even Will Chamberlain had teammates selected to an All-Star game 24 times between the years of 1960 and 1973. These all-time great bigs played not just with good players, not even with great players. They played with the greatest players of all time. With many of these big... Colors on the mall, man. I'm sure that. What? That's wicked played with the greatest players of all time with many of these bigs fortunate enough to play with some of the very few of the greatest guards who have ever lived Hakeem did not have that kind of luck and unlike the best players of this current generation he was unwilling to go full blown mercenary mode and team jump in his prime Elijah Wan played with Ralph Sampson who made an all-star team the first three seasons Hakeem was in the NBA. Sampson even made a second team All-NBA selection in Hakeem's rookie season of 1984-85. It was the only time in Elijah Wan's entire 15-year career that he played with a teammate that was selected to an All-NBA team and it came in just his first season. Damn. Along with Sampson, however, Hakeem would get to the NBA Finals in just his second year in the NBA at the Damn. age of 23. And Elijah Wan went right through the famed 80s LA Lakers in the Western Conference Finals that year, averaging 27 points and 12 rebounds per game. Bro, this is the stuff that folks don't be talking about, bro. Like, mm, 27, 12 yeah, or 53 is wild. Boy, hey, shh. 50% shooting for the entire playoff run. But in the finals, young Hakeem would run up against one of the greatest teams ever assembled, the 1986 Boston Celtics, led by league MVP Larry Bird that year, one of the five Hall of Famers on that team that won 67 games that season and lost one total home game. The future, though, seemed bright with this Twin Towers tandem of Hakeem Olajuwon and Ralph Sampson. Well, that bright future got cloudy quickly. As the next season, Ralph Sampson was plagued with injury and would miss over 40 games. Mm. It would also be his final season in Houston. And over the next eight years, during Hakeem's absolute prime season, aged 25 to 32, he would play exactly one year with one All-Star, and that was Otis Thorpe in the 1991-92 season. It was Thorpe's one and only fluke All-Star appearance in his entire 19-year <laughs> career. That was the best player prime Hakeem Olajuwon got to play with. But That's why I be, man, I be wishing I can go back in time, bro, and just switch a couple of things up, mm -hmm. dog. A couple of players. Man, take, take something bad off the Celtics, put him on there with Larry. Mm -hmm. Boy, had him go against the pits. Boy, sure, boy. Boy, boy, boy. The Rockets acquired Clyde Drexler mm. at the trade deadline in 1994-95 with 34 games remaining in that NBA season. And in the 1996-97 season, Hakeem hit the mother load when Charles Barkley joined him and Drexler in Houston. And all three of them made the All-Star team that year. Mm. And you say, Super They look good right there, huh? Boy, they look, boy, they, they yeah, look yeah, nice. Oh, they look real nice. That's oh, poster boy lie. material. Yeah. Um, oh, me, that's poster boy material right there, boy. Well, not quite. Barkley was in his 13th season, Drexler was in his 14th season, and Hakeem was in year 13, with all three players in their mid-30s at the time and outside of their primes. A far cry from the prime pairings of elite players we have seen in this most recent Super Team era. That Houston team was also hampered with injuries, with Drexler missing 20 games that year and Barkley missing 30. Yet the Rockets still won 57 games that season and actually went all the way to the Western Conference Finals where 
there they ran up against the 64 wins. We did watch that one. We did Same shot and everything. Look, that's the same exact on, shot. On, on same exact shot. Two conference finals where they ran up against. 4-2. They won 4-2. Them Jazz won 4-2. They boy shot that thing. 100 to what? 103? And it was tough. 64 win Utah Jazz with that season's league MVP, Carl Malone. Even in defeat against the league MVP, Hakeem was the best player in that series. Averaging 27 oh points, 9 God. rebounds, 4 assists, Damn, 3 bro, blocks. he averaged 3 blocks? That's crazy. 27, basically 27, four series, 9, two 4, steal, 3, and 2. 60%. I was 60%. That's tough. That's so tough, bro. Man, it's messed up, bro. That's so tough to average 27. That, 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 what more can I do? Oh, my Lord, to average 27, you had to be giving him 30 at night. Yeah, he was giving it to me. That's, that's, sure. that's tough. That's tough. And then people can't say that he was shooting bad enough because it's like. Man, that's That's tough. Averaging 27 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 blocks, and 2 steals per game on 59% shooting. But the Jazz would win it in 6 and roll all the way into the NBA Finals before running into this guy. And after finally getting a good collection of players around him for the first time in his career, unfortunately, that year would be the last of Hakeem Olajuwon, as he would miss nearly 40 games the following season following a knee surgery. And while Hakeem would limp around the league literally until the age of 39, in all, he started only 215 of a possible 378 games in those final five seasons, mm. as his statistics and efficiency fell off of a cliff. But in his prime, a prime squander, I mean, playing with no me. other all-star caliber players, Hakeem was still selected to 12 All-NBA teams, oh is 12th on the all-time scoring list, oh all-time in rebounds, and first all-time in blocks. I mean, 12th in all-time scoring? First in blocks, and what they say, 14 in what? Rebound. That man, 12th on all-time, goddamn. What the? My boy, Evan, sit down there, third year. You. Bro, that's tough, bro. That's for his for his um NBA career not to be that long. Yeah, he got some accolades. That's that's tough. Cause what year KD in? You're seventeen. Shit. What year KD in? Oh, my bad, y'all. I just gotta look this up real quick. Let me. Uh, uh, wait, wait, let me see. Let me see this real quick. Okay, he got drafted in the 07. 17, that'll be 10. What, did he, what year is he right now? 23? 23, gonna be 24. Yeah, yeah bro, like Kevin Durant didn't leave that long. And he's still moving and grooving. Like, that's tough, dog. So for him to only have basically like 13 years of prime prime, and to be 12 all-time scoring, that's ridiculous, dog. That's that's crazy to me, for real. 14th all-time in rebounds and first all-time in blocks. Yeah, that's 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 that's, that, 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 that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. He also produced arguably the best playoff run in NBA history, beginning with the 1993-94 season, where he was first team all NBA, first team all NBA defense, league MVP, oh defensive goodness. player of the year, won the championship, and was named finals MVP. The list of players to do that in one season includes yeah. no one. Damn. In the no. play Man, Reed, this well. This well. This wow. All I heard was first and then first and then first, first, first and all yeah. time. And first yeah. and league MVP and playoff run. And yeah, that's what I'm, I'm being 100, bro. Like, and the reason I say it's so crazy because he did it in basically 13 years. And like you said, see, this is stuff we don't be knowing. That's For real. crazy. I see why he said way better than you think because that, that's, that's wild, bro. Hey, Kevin Durant going on, finna go on year 17. The hell? Like, bro, that's, 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 that's wicked, bro. This poster boy is insane, too. 
move him out the way. Move move LeBron out the way doing put uh put uh put 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 Westbrook right there. But that's crazy though. That's wild. Of that year, he beat the 47 win Portland Trailblazers in the first round, led mm. by Clyde Drexler. In the second round, he beat the 56 win Phoenix Suns, mm. led by Charles Barkley. Mm. And in the Western Both Conference movies. Finals, it was the Stockton and Malone Utah Jazz before getting to the Patrick Ewing Knicks in the finals. Houston's second best player on this team was Otis Thorpe who averaged 14 points per game in the regular season. And their second leading scorer in the playoffs for that run was Vernon Maxwell, who averaged just under 14 points per game. That's Thorpe tough. and Maxwell combined in 30... Huh? Then you gotta realize, bro. Hold on, did, hold on. What? Thorpe averaged 14 during the season. That's what I'm saying. He just said the the the, the second best score was dude. And he scored in the playoffs. A, in the playoffs, he that, scored a little bit under a th fourteen. That's, that's tough, bro. So what 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 what? Man, the four made to the fighters off straight. Off straight, the one. The the four made to the to the to the finals. I mean, they made it to the finals off straight off straight. Uh, a low a large one. In one though. A king off straight. Off king. That's crazy, my bro. Hold on. It's <laughs> wild. That could be bro. I can get it about that too. Bro, bro, no, like, no, for real, for real. How is that even possible, though? I mean, you'll be a real, bro. If you give, if you give the he only, I'm just being real. I'm, and I'm not discrediting him. But he was only averaging 28. But you gotta realize they weren't scoring high back then. They were scoring, they were averaging about 70 points back then. So if you give me, if you give Damn, me. Damn, that's crazy, if, if, though. If, 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 if you give me, if you give me 30. That's how you know, 12, bro, that's how you know the game has what? evolved so much. Cause I'm just being real. Like right now, the thirty barely enough. And, but you got depending you got, on who, you, and, who and, it is. And, and then you got to look at it like this too, though. On top of that, like you said, it, I'll put it to you like this. Most of the time, most of the time, if a team wins, the best player gonna have thirty something, and the second best player gonna have low low to mid twenties. But they had like one thirty, one twenty, one forty five, one sixty. Enough for was going by 84, 85 points they did. So for him to have I'm 30, and then they have 14, yo. I was, bro, I was the second best score on the team. Bro, I was giving him like 13. I'm like, this, this, this wicked. This wicked. Bro. Yeah, this wicked. This wicked, bro. This it worked, though. This it wicked. Work. I mean, like it, it's, it's all you mean. But that's, it, like you said, that's how you know the game evolved, though, bro. Because but, that, but I'm being real. Since he said that, that this, it ain't even just making me think about just this team alone. It's making me think about every other team. Like because they actually the play defense. New York defense. Knicks with like Patrick Hewan. You know what I'm saying? You got me thinking about who was the second best score after Larry Bird. Mm. Who was the second best after? You know what I'm saying? Then Larry would give me a thirty-five. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go back and look. look some but stuff see, you gotta up, be bro. real though. They was so. They like you so, said, I know oh, when Joe when Joe yeah. was coming out 40, 40, 40, They were oh, when he was giving 40, 50, 50, 40. You know what I'm saying? Like that's crazy, bro. But then if I were really playing defense, for yeah, them, they were. They, they, yeah. but they was more on the defensive side than they was offense. Yeah, most definitely. Damn, then you gotta crazy. realize, for one shooting three, they like you said, they was only giving you about two threes a game. Like who was the second best after like Clyde Drexler, dog? You get what I'm saying? Glad to glad. Who would have second best after Trump? Like, I mean, I mean, I guess for having 14, 15. No, it can't be. They can't be like seven. Because you got, um, all the reason I said it, because I think it's really that low because they won shooting three. They just won shooting three. That is true. That's you true. know what I'm that's saying? True. So to get that's to get 30 right. out straight twos, that's, that, that's, 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 that's wild. wild. And, that, and I'm being real. Dude, I'm going to go into the free throw like that for real. Mind you, they don't ever they don't throw no free throw, free throw stats in the old school stuff because they weren't really going like that. No forward blowing the whistle like yeah, that. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. That, that's a project. I'm, I'm, I'm so when you think about it, second, when, when, when you school. think about it, bro, no free throws like that, no threes like that. You ain't getting no N1s like I mean, that. I ain't gonna lie. That's how the points get taken I, away. I guess 14 is. I mean, you, you just shoot straight middies or something. No, nah, 14 is crazy. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. For, 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 don't. 14 is wild, bro. Damn, but that's crazy. Because if he was averaging 13.8, that means he was giving you around 15, yeah, 16. Like 14, 15, yeah. 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 You're right. Which is still like. I mean, hey. What it, the it, fuck? It, it, it worked. Yeah. And it's so crazy because they made it to the finals by doing that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, crazy because. Really, what was he doing part. in the regular season? Because he only did this in the playoffs. In the playoffs yep. And Thor was giving him 14. So he probably, in the regular season, he was probably getting you About 12, 9 to 12, <laughs> 9 to 12 points. Shit. 
Oh, but I wonder, but I wonder, like you said, the game evolved so much. So now I'm wondering, back then, was folks like, man, he giving him 14. I wonder what folks doing it. 1,000%. You got to realize, brother. <laughs> back then, they didn't even dribble the ball, fool. They just ran around with this junk. This crazy. They just ran around with the ball back then. Damn, this crazy. Like, back then, back then? Like, back then, back then, they didn't even dribble the ball. Yeah, that's great. There you go. I'm going to play this. That's, yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Five cumulative years played in the NBA made a total of one All-Star game. Thorpe and Maxwell combined in 35 cumulative years played in the NBA made a total of one All-Star game. This is insane, dog. This is insane, dog. 35 years in the league? You think made one one all star? I mean, shh. I'm just being real. Uh, a piece? A, a king. Boy, we got a. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wish I would have you on another team. I gave you something about Some. <clears throat> is one of the most ludicrous playoff runs ever when factoring in competition and the supporting cast. And after winning only 47 games the following season and finishing as just the sixth seed in the Western Conference playoffs, Hakeem would go full-on legend in the 1995 playoffs, beating the 60-win Stockton and two-time league MVP Carl Malone, Utah Jazz, in the first round the first round a 60 win opponent in the second round it was the 59 win former MVP Charles Barkley led Suns then in the Western Conference Finals it was the 62 win that's, I ain't no way though that's tough bro. then in the Western Conference that's so tough that's so <clears throat> I'm gonna keep you stinking with you bro He's another player that could have they could play in today's game. 1000 percent Name me. I don't even I can't even name three B's off the back that's gonna this Former MVP this. Charles Barkley led Suns. Then in the Western Conference Finals, it was the 60. I'm moving like Jamal Crawford. Let me let me get that to Barkley led Suns. Then in the Western Conference yeah. Finals, it huh? was the 62 win yeah. <laughs> San Antonio Spurs. <laughs> Led by that season's league MVP, David the Robinson. Like, then, on, waiting for Hakeem in the NBA Finals would be future league MVP Shaquille O'Neal and the Penny Hardaway Orlando Magic. A team that actually beat Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls. As Jordan returned with 17 games left in the regular season before heading into the playoffs that season and falling in six games to the Magic in the East semifinal. Finals, but Hakeem would then dominate that Magic team and Shaquille O'Neal in the NBA Finals, sweeping them four games to none. Four That's fucking crazy, man. That's crazy. <sighs> boy, that's wicked, boy. Boy, that's wicked, boy. I ain't gonna lie, Penny, love you, boy, but you gotta get up out of there. You gotta get up out of there. Shaq, you Shaq. I mean, we know who you is, but you got to get up out of there. That's tough. That might swept child, bro. That might swept child out. I know y'all one person, though. Swept <laughs> child, bro. Shaq, you're 75, 55 million feet tall. Big, big dude. I'm going to go back to that. Hold on. I, I don't know. Hold on. That's what. The finals. But Hakeem would then dominate that Magic team and Shaquille oh, O'Neal in the NBA Finals, sweeping them four games to none. Four rounds, four league MVPs, and a collective winning percentage of his four opponents of 73%, the highest faced by any champion by far in NBA history. For a guy who had such a legendary offensive repertoire that one of the best scorers in NBA history consulted him for advice on footwork and post moves. A guy who was also one of the best defensive bigs of all time, winning Defensive Player of the Year twice. A guy who beat the 
1980s Lakers in just his second season, went toe-to-toe -to -toe with arguably the best team ever and took them six games, and a guy who ran through a series of MVPs and elite all-time Hall of Famers en route to back-to-back -to -back titles oh while playing with no other All-Stars. Just imagine if that guy had Kobe Bryant. Ooh, I promise you on everything, I love them boys getting that team. Oh, Kirk, Michael Jordan was in Lee. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be real. This, this, yeah, this, this crazy dog. You get that boy Prime Kobe. That'll be that. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be the Rockets versus Bulls, Game Seven in the Finals, seven eight years in a row, easily. We are not goddamn. I ain't gonna lie. Celtics were crazy, but still. Boy, I'm just being real, boy. For him to do this with nobody. Nobody. Jeez, that's, nobody, that's, that's nobody, bro. It's, it's it, like you said, it's the people he ran through, dog. No, that's some tough competition, bro. Stocked him alone. Bark. The Admiral. The Admiral. Penny Shaq. Hewan. Then he fought old them. Barkley. Oh, Everybody fought old them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't no computer about it. Oh, my goodness, dude. Magic Johnson for a decade. I had Kobe Bryant for eight years, Magic Johnson for a decade, or Dwayne Wade, Jerry West, or Bob Cousy. How many titles could he have won surrounded by players like that? What then would his legacy look like? One could Should only dream. You want me to be being real? If we keep this stankish, that might was. You want to put out? Yeah, oh, that, that might was that might was the hardest uh hardest ring. What you mean? To my get? Yeah. Absolutely. 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 No, nah, no, nah, for for sure. When we talking about real deal like Damn. ring for real? No, nah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like I didn't know like bro, and and that's why I, that's why I like watching stuff like this, you know, cuz it's like you know, but you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. I did not know, like. Mm -hmm. Just getting your basketball knowledge up, because I ain't know. That's tough. I'm being real. You, <laughs> you, you, if you would have gave, if you would have gave, man, he told me if you imagine if you would have had Kobe. Imagine, uh -huh. man, imagine if you would have had me. You know? I probably gave you another one. I'm just being real. If you would have made me about six, seven, I could have gave you another one. Yeah, I'm just being real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, this he would give no fuck. He had business, no bro. Nobody. And that mean could not like literally could nobody stop him. You want me to tell me the man meal though? What? That man meal, uh you know for play which car? Uh, um what's his name? Point guard. Braid it up. I don't forget my guy. Oh yeah. This will remind me of. We ain't had nobody yeah, he he go against them Lakers. Yeah, I ain't gonna let you Torched after that first game, but yeah. still though, for you like, to do that, like that was, was for like, you to make it that far, then get to the legs yeah, and win that first game, can't, even can't, win the game against them folks. Shaq and Kobe, no, that's tough. Do respect there, bro. That's yeah, I ain't gonna lie, but he ran through the whole league. I mean, like good teams, beautiful team, well put together. All like how did team. like how did you beat the prime type, and prime type two teams? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Because I'm just being real. Respect, Everybody bro. he went against had at least two, two. Yep. They did. A big and a guard. A big and a guard. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Shout out to Shout out to my A. That's wild. For real. Like, I'm being real. Yeah, like, I, I gained I, so I, much I got way, more, like, way more. I gained way a lot more. respect for him. Because I, I, I always knew he was that guy, but golly. Shout out my boy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what. I'm sorry. Elijah Wong. Yes, Elijah Wong. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to my boy. Yes, sir. But A, hey, though. That's wild. Yeah, this week. That's that's no that's that's wicked, bro. I got I got to get back. I got a little bit. I got to get a little bit more of my best. Like See, these doing, points, but doing bro. these videos making our knowledge go up a little bit more. Right, so you gonna average like sixty percent field goal and probably six percent rebound. And I'm talking about you averaging like twenty, about thirty. Just say thirty, bro. Just say thirty. Just say thirty, bro. To be honest, ten, twelve boards. Twelve, yeah, twelve boards. Thirty and twelve is crazy by itself. Then he averaged three blocks. Two steals. And I'm just being real. Like, it was some bigs in the league. Nah, it was, I mean, that's what the B was around. Straight bigs. You get what I'm saying? It was like, a, like a it, ain't like, it ain't like, it ain't like, oh, he was going against plumbers and, nah, bro. No. 
No, sir. Like, it was based on like, beats. He, he, sure. Like, it was on bigs in the for league. Shaq to get, even though Shaq was young, for Shaq to get dominated like that, it's still kind of... Yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, yeah. To me. Patrick Hume. 4-0, dog. Who, 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 like, who, who, y'all who, come who, in who one game. Who would guard him on the Jack Carpelon? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. Who would guard him on the Bulls? To be Carl Malone, bro, it's tough. Carl Malone was a goddamn. Neil yeah, Man was a goddamn beast, dog. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Damn. Then you gotta realize, and, 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 and don't don't get me wrong, uh, I know he didn't he he, he ain't see the Bulls because the uh, what's called the uh, Orlando beat them, which I mean I get him props, but he's like. Nigga Jordan came back with 17 games left in the season. Mm-hmm. They won't finish. But still, though, bro, for y'all, for you to go out there and beat. 4 0. The Magic 4 0, dog. And then you gotta think about it, like. 4 0? It's a younger team. Mine is where, bro. 4 0 is crazy, dog. Damn, you telling me Shaq one? and Magic couldn't get you one? They couldn't get you one? And your second best player given, and you 14? And 13. That's tough. Shut up. Shut up. That's all I like to say. Y'all, are, you know, man, what I mean? you, you, up, you gained that respect so mm-hmm. much, more, yeah, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's too. crazy. But that's that, that right there, bro. Real deal, like. Man, I did not know. For real, dog. I ain't gonna need that lie. Now, if I if I hear somebody say uh, Hakeem, I'm like, yeah, yeah, um, yes, sir. Yeah, that boy was dead. <laughs> that boy was dead. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Hakeem, man. For real, for real. Hey man, if y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the rest, don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy, them boy, crazy. Yeah, we out.